We saw Gareth Bale finally on the pitch in a Real Madrid shirt, and that's why it caught the attention over in the papers in Spain, as has this one. Bale no se rinde, which means he does not give in. But alas, this is what Zinedine Zidane had to say on the matter after. He says, look, he played a good game, and I'm happy for him. He played because he wanted to the other day. He didn't want to play, that is. But nothing's changed. You know the situation. Oh my goodness, Zidane is a tough, tough cookie indeed, Stevie. You're already making up your face on this one. a tough cookie? No, I think, I think the fact that Gareth Bale didn't want to play the other day, if indeed that is correct, tells you that there's something brewing. Mm. Because the only way a player wouldn't want to play is if he doesn't want to get injured. And in the situation Bale's in right now, the only reason he wouldn't want to get injured is because maybe there's something afoot. So that kind of tells me, it smells a little like something might be in the works. But then a couple of days ago, uh, Zinedine Zidane said he hoped the situation would be sorted within 24 to 48 hours. Here we, we are now, still. Yeah, a solid 48 hours since that uh, and, and counting and still no, no real resolution. So you do wonder what the situation is. I still believe that, that Bale will not be a Real Madrid player come the close of the transfer window. But I, I just feel that there's still so many moving parts of this. It's not as simple as it's going to be done in the next day or two. This will drag on for a bit more. Makes what, what we do here a little bit um, repetitious, but uh, such as is the nature of these, of these big transfers. But we've been discussing this, of course, and, and Gareth Bale's agent has come out and said a couple of things. And I know we don't like to read in too much to what the agents have to say because that is their job. But he seems adamant that Bale has still a point to prove at Real Madrid. So do you really see him getting out? Or do you just see him being stubborn, as possibly Stuart had said, because he might even be afraid to go elsewhere and be found out that he's not the Gareth Bale of old? No, I think, I think you'll find that the, the agent will just say what he thinks is the right thing to say. The fact that it's not Gareth completely changes the whole, the whole dimension of it. The agent's there to protect Gareth Bale, and he's going to say what he thinks is the best thing to say. Not necessarily the right thing, um, or certainly what his client thinks, but he's going to tell the press and everybody else what sounds the best. I couldn't agree more with, with, with Stevie here. The, the, the fact of the matter is, if, if Gareth Bale says that he does not want to leave, um, to force him out the door is going to cost more for, to, mm -hmm. to Real Madrid. So it's an understandable um, tactic from, from Gareth Bale and, and his representatives. Let's also remember that as much as Gareth Bale may feel he's got more to prove here, Zinedine Zidane is the manager, and given the relationship between these two, I just don't see that working. After the, the Champions League a couple of seasons ago, Gareth Bale was very quick to say that he wanted out. Mm -hmm. Zidane beat him to that punch, and now, and now that the dynamic has changed. I, I still don't think that these two work together. They don't see eye to eye. Bale is the one who finds himself to the exit door this time around.